So today something special has promised in my previous recipe of it that uh, mango um uh, shrikhand and puris i told you i'll be making you or showing you puri puri which is a maharashtrian famous um uh, breakfast recipe or snack which is actually nothing but it is a sweet flat bread with a stuffing of sweet lentils which jaggery and uh, cardamom powder so it is a very healthy nutritional kind of dish which even kids to any age can be able to enjoy and uh, delight into and it's a quite quite a little bit of um, work but if you catch me through the steps i'm pretty much sure you can be able to ace it so let's get on with the recipe so along with today's puran poli i was uh, just thinking of let me add in another recipe so last time i showed you a recipe with carrots uh, was carrot halwa the introduction yes. video if anybody has not seen that please do, do check it out it's a very tasty and a family favorite today i'm going to do again with carrots but it's a different version it's going to be a a secret it's going to be a very quick and easy to make one pot dish so stay tuned So this is a special one uh, as I told you Maharashtrian which is nothing but uh, the the north side of India but it's basically also from the southern part which is the Karnataka south of India um and this is the ladoos which is uh, the speciality as said the carrot ladoos is scrumptious and delicious and can be made any time of season for parties and Diwali so please do try it out these are the ingredients for the carrot uh, dessert which I'm going to make It's nothing but two, three tablespoons of ghee. This is again homemade. I just made it quickly today. Uh, then three cups or two and a half cups of grated, freshly grated carrots. Uh, one cup of whole fat milk. I have used skimmed milk. Preferably any one will work. This is grated coconut with a pinch of cardamom powder. Around a three-fourth cup to one cup of milk powder. Some chopped nuts, which is a mix of um, almonds, cashews, and pistas and uh, yeah that's basically about it so for the first the puran poli we have to soak two cups of um chana dal which is nothing but split bengali gram um i soaked it overnight if you can do a couple of hours more than 10 to 12 hours and then i'm going to put it in a cooker with some uh water uh and with a little pinch of turmeric and cover it and uh, let it whistle for Three, three to four whistles until it's nicely, finely cooked and well done. And now it's done. And I'm going to slowly leave the pressure out with the steam. Okay, and you can see it's very well done. And um, as I told you, it's lentils, which is uh, the chickpea lentils. So it's a little bit, you uh, know, big and not the tour one, not the regular one. um this is very very healthy also and very fine you can use different versions of uh, lentils you don't need to use only one regular one and as uh, we go ahead with the recipe we are right now taking all the you know, well cooked lentils into a strainer we have to finely strain it if um it's not necessary step as you can see there's not much water in this but if it's allowed for the rest for around half an hour it will do good now we're going to start cup of maida or all purpose flour so this can be doubled if you want to make more i'm just doing it basically to show uh a correct amount for just you know two or three servings and a one to one and a half cups of whole wheat flour you can do the proportions of either with all purpose flour only that is two cups of that or two cups of whole wheat flour uh, you don't have to just mix both of them in an individual way this is just basically my way of making it a soft dough then we add the required amount of salt for this and then we add sufficiently 2 teaspoons to 2 to 3 teaspoons of ghee 
or oil your preference the flavor and the taste comes out in adding the kind of butter or fat you use and next a pinch of sap uh, sorry turmeric powder for the color of the dough so just keep adding the and it will give a nice soft dough so i took another cup of uh, warm water now i'm being very careful in adding it because it's almost there as you can see it's coming together so this is the crucial step of needing any dough uh, from Indian chapatis to um, I, I can't say pizza dough pizza dough is it's something different so basically any kind of bread dough you just need to be very gentle and if you have a wide kind of open vessel to knead it that would be preferable so you can move your hands about like this and press it down which gives a softness to the dough so this is basically for the beginners or who doesn't know much of kneading so I'm just giving them a step-by-step -step process of kneading. I'm sure pretty much everybody who knows how to uh, um, knead a dough or you know make it into a atta and all chapati dough is basically easy to do this step, right? And I love making chapati, so this is my favorite job. A couple of two three minutes, keep kneading it, so it becomes a soft, pliable dough. And then cover it with a soft damp cloth. So this is the door. And then cover it with a damp cloth. And you can just rest it till we are done with the pour and police part. So that's done. So we're going to start with the uh, carrot dessert. As you can see, I have a um, kind of you know, heavy bottom or not heavy bottom kind of nonstick vessel being heated up to a medium. To this, we add the grated carrots, preferably three roasted in that beautiful flavor. Seeing, we uh, took the carrots, three cups into this. Uh, non-stick pan and added two to three te uh, teaspoons of ghee, clarified butter and roasting it for around five minutes. So this is the dal. It's nicely cooked and if it's possible you can just keep mashing it here. We need a fine kind of mixture but yeah. Uh, so we're going to right now you know the next step of this puran poli will be to Cook it along with jaggery, which is the, or you can use brown sugar. I can tell you the variations of sugar which we can use, or even white sugar, refined sugar. Totally up to you because it's a healthy version. I want to do it with jaggery, which you can find in the Indian stores. It's called uh, good, good or uh, Punjabi shakar. And along with that, we use nutmeg powder, cardamom powder, and ghee. So it's a very flavorful dish. You must definitely try it out. So, we'll so I'm going to start cooking the uh, Puran Poli filling, which is the, uh, the cooked lentils and the jaggery and all. I'm going to just, uh, you know, fry it in some ghee and it's going to loosen out its water content till it's dried. So I will show you the process. Cooked dal, the Bengal gram dal. I'm adding maybe two teaspoons of ghee in that. So if it's possible, you can just smash it. If you have a spatula, well and good, or with a potato smasher. As as you can see, the dal is very nicely cooked. So it nicely gets smashed. Now we are going to add the jaggery, that is one cup of either jaggery or you can use brown sugar or even coconut sugar as you can see in my previous recipes. This is basically to give it a good flavor and 
and then we add around one teaspoon of nutmeg powder and one teaspoon of cardamom powder which gives out a good flavor in that and give that all a good mix smashing it through no liquidy but then gradually you can see that the mixture will become a bit dry and easier to work with later we are trying to just make sure that the stuffing will be like it can form a ball or you know a hard kind of stuffing so that we can stiff stuff it into the dough and make it into a chapati kind of flat bread Turmeric, if you want, for color. Lentil pieces, which is, which is visible through the mixture. It's just that it doesn't break in so quickly, so I'm just trying to do with a spoon or spatula. As it's cooked, it will be smashed very well. Spread it basically like this. It took me around uh, six to eight minutes, that's it. With the jaggery and the spices into this. So this is the extra step which I'll see. This is a regular big sieve or strainer. So in this step, the traditional or the People at India uses, uh, which I mean in Maharashtrian place and Karnataka. This dish is basically originated from Karnataka also. Uh, this is very, you uh, know, uh, very famous in uh, special occasions like Holi and Diwali, Ugadi, I think, in uh, Karnataka. So what I was trying to tell you is they use a pour and pulley maker, which is like a mesh, and it comes like you know you have to turn it around and it it gets nicely smashed into and you do need to work a lot but as I don't have that right now and preferably I know most of you won't be having that to make this you don't need to worry you can still make this delicious recipe healthy recipe uh, you can serve the poor and poly with the kids for the kids with mango shrikan or mango rus which you can definitely get from the store bought or you can make with fresh mangoes I showed you last video so let this cool down for around 10 15 minutes and then we just you know work it with a fork or something just hard enough so that it can come down the bow and we get fine kind of particles of the mixture and will be definitely workable for the pour and pull so i'll see you there so this is the last of it as I told you, you don't need to at all to do smashing if it's a good, uh, nicely cooked and see through and when it becomes dry, see, you can just either put some water or some ghee and you get the bowl. So you don't basically need to go through a sieve or anything. I was just basically trying to, uh, you know, make all the kind of big lumps of the dal just get smashed thoroughly into the mix and yeah that's about it so you can see the mixture is like this afterwards so we have rested the dough for our till we made the pour and poli so i'm just taking almost just this much we just need for the dinner or maybe for the breakfast tomorrow so i'm going to show you how it's going to be done so as i told you this was very easy to just you know after you cook it along with the, um, the sugar, the brown sugar or the jaggery, the consistency will be very easy to work with. If you want, you can apply ghee or 
for more flavor or water but I feel like you don't need that so just take a small portion of the uh, dough roll it dip it into some flour and then basically make a disc out of it of this as you can see and then that's going to be stuffed in the center like this and then what we just need to do is take all the ends and sides just press this directly in the center and just make sure you get a good stuffing of that just you no know, just make it like a dome or uh, for like a momo and then press it down and see we can see that no it's completely sealed and then just dip into some more flour and then very gently in this initial stage just roll out the dough making sure you just flour a little bit more and that's it we have the puran puli bread like this and then when it is going to be made in the tawa or the griddle i'll show you the step of that just make sure to be very gentle in that and so next after roasting the carrots in that ghee we're going to add around 3/4 cups of white flour sugar we get that all together and mix So as you can see, the sugar is definitely going to melt down, caramelize into this, and we can check the sweetness later on if you want to add more. And to that, we're going to add one cup of milk. So this is basically for the carrots to cook down. I'm going to add half, not half, quarter cup of just regular water. What consistency to be correct? You can see the milk is all absorbed into the carrots, and we had uh, when we started we had around three to four cups of grated carrot, and now we can see it's become almost half of the portion. Or you can say around seventy percent has gone down. So it's like always these things happen for all these vegetables, and you know, I mean, if it would be true, then. Uh, green leaves and everything it just reduces the water and as we saw the milk is getting absorbed and that's how the taste and flavor gets into sweets or indian sweets or any other sweets so so as we saw around 3/4 cup to 1 cup it depends on how much milk powder this is whole fat um i use the ever 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 the every day milk powder you can use the nestle or uh, the one which we get Nido, which I think in the international and the um, UAE on all, when I was young, we used to get Nido milk powder, and India we get Nestle and Everready, and we here we can use the new name in Canada, which we get. I think it's a bit costly, so it's okay. Sometimes we have to get it for some good sweets like this. You can just get a big packet of that. I think it's for maybe around. Uh, 8 or 10 dollars but you can use it in proportion so now the main thing is as you can see the the texture of the carrots is becoming creamier so this has to absorb everything into this and then we'll add the coconut grated with a little bit of cardamom powder you can see the carrots have all absorb the liquid it's become dry now i'm adding the coconut and that was around half a cup of coconut along with 1 teaspoon of cardamom green cardamom powder and some of the crushed nuts so we had some crushed nuts so we can have a bite in between some as for the garnish that will do and we'll give that all a good stir and that's about it my dear, dear friends folks we'll see the step of making the laddu just in a few moments
So as we can see, um, I just transferred that mixture of carrot and uh, coconut and nuts and all into a flat plate to make it completely cool down. Just a light warm we need it. Um, basically, you don't even need warm. And as you get it cooled down, we'll make it into balls and then garnish or you know, roll it in some coconut, dried coconut and So on the tawa, you are just um, heating up that puran poli flatbread. Uh, make sure it is like uh, nicely heated up, just around one minute to two minutes on each side, and then apply some ghee, and then I'll show you the end result. Favorite dishes over here. It's good, as I told you, good for trips, picnics, schools. Your favorite, right, Angelina? Yep. It goes good as it is. It can go along with any sweets. And so here, like my mom is now doing the carrot laddu ball, and she's covering it with some coconut, grinded coconut, and like. She's keeping that at the top, or you don't even need it. Um, you could just keep it normally and simple. And it's okay if you don't get that sphere um, shape correctly. It's okay. You can make a barfi out of this. You can put it into a, like a greased square tin. You don't need to make balls out of this. So you can basically just you know grease some um, a square dish, a glass dish, or you know a baking tray, and then. Put it in the fridge for just one one hour or something, and then you can cut it into squares, and you have burfies. And right here, you could uh, this is like a great thing. You could do like the mixture with no nuts, the carrot mixture. Yes, you cannot. You you if you're really allergic to nuts, you don't need to add any nuts at all. Yeah. You can just do it with the coconut and the carrots. It's I'm totally gonna get optional. a real closer look of those ladoos. I'm and gonna the, garnish that with some pistachio powder later. Oh, that would be so yummy when I taste them. Like I'm craving for it right now. Let's close enough.